Hello, this is a Filmmaker's Guide to Film Festivals, and I'm your host, as always, Ethan Minsker. We're here in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, for the Jim Thorpe Independent Film Festival, happening April 20th to April 23rd in 2023. I'm Brian Ashton Smith, executive producer and actor of our film. And I'm Melissa Knapp. I am the co-writer, co-creator, director, actor of our film, Torn Together. Our film is an experimental short about being torn between two parts of your identity. Hello, my name is M2 Main Gant, the writer, director, and also composer of the film, Mold of Malachi. Mold of Malachi is a film about a, a black man named Malachi who's jogging in a nondescript suburban area. He begins to have a premonition that something is wrong. A tale of violence that is used as a way for other people to have understanding the experience of blackness. This time around, I'm showing an art film called House of Halix, I just completed in 2023. Hi, I'm Ethan Minsker, I did House of Halix, based out of New York City. So I really tried to make a circus type for her because that was part of her thing for that album. Welcome to our town. This is Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. It used to be called the Switzerland of America in the 1880s. It was one of the hottest destinations in that time to come and travel to. We've been doing this festival for, this will be our sixth year now, going into our seventh year, and we are growing exponentially. Well, we're both filmmakers and we're both artists. I was an actor. I still produce commercials and short films, music videos. That theater is an old opera house. So it's a giant space, they bring in the projection, they build the screen, but it feels like an actual movie theater in itself. Not one of these converted just to show films, it actually feels organically as it was supposed to be a movie theater. Our standards are very high in regards to you know the quality of the screenings and the sound. We have a 30 foot screen that we bring in, in this old historic building that has been around for 150 years. And it seats oh, about 380 people. And another benefit is that it's one screening place. You're not competing with other locations and other films. So when you're meeting other filmmakers, and you're saying like, oh, my film is playing at such and such time, you know it's not conflicting with that filmmaker's screening. So everybody has the ability to all go to the same one location and watch films. And then our party, our big filmmakers gala is right across the street. So everything in this town is walkable. My suggestion is if you come here, pick a bed and breakfast or something very close to the main street in walking distance to all the locations. If it's the movie theater, if it's the filmmaker gala, if it's the after parties, everything was in just a few blocks away from each other. So you really don't need to have a rent a car once you're here. About three hours away from New York City by bus or from Philadelphia. You could rent a car and your trip will be shorter, maybe about two and a half hours depending on traffic. There is a giant parking lot down the street at the train station. And it's a beautiful town, like the like architecture from, from the 1880s. And There's like a nice river, like an antique train that you can experience. It's a great place, it's a destination. That's how we discovered yeah. it in New York. It has so many elements with music and films. It's just a really wonderful festival that really focuses on diverse filmmaking. They do a really great job bringing filmmakers together to collaborate. We've had a lot of great conversations with other filmmakers and it's just been a really inspiring weekend for us. I'd say Todd and the team do a great job great. of making everyone feel welcome and included. It's a festival of the community, but it doesn't feel like small with a, a bigger heart in a smaller area. You know, we work with a great group, a great team, community support. We have incredible people that volunteer for us and sponsor us every single year, all local. For example, this year we have 
nine features, total of 87 films all in all, shorts and features. Eight of the nine features are Pennsylvania premieres. We work hard to make sure that you're here and you're having a good time. You're also able to network and make connections. It's is, intimate. It's, it's an intimate, intimate experience. You'll see them. Yeah. It has its own unique personality. We like to push people's buttons. Our tagline is eyes and minds wide open. Take people out of their comfort zone. It's not a genre festival, but we show every genre you could possibly think of. In fact, we enjoy showing films. Might make you a little bit uncomfortable. Everything usually has a little bit of an edge. That we're very proud of is our ability to attract people to the actual screenings. If you travel to come here, go to all the effort and expense to come to a festival, we have a definite loyal audience that fills up the seats. One thing I love is that we sell our tickets before we announce our program. And what that says to me is that the audience has a lot of faith in us as a film festival to Curate. curate films that they're going to love, that they're going to see, because they trust us. And we know that there's going to be an audience for you when you come. I wouldn't be afraid to reach out to us personally. If you've taken the time to submit your film, actually paid a fee, like, go ahead and reach out to me and tell me, like, look out for my film, or reach out to me on social media. It, like, puts a little, like, check mark on your film. But when I'm watching it, like, there's already a personal connection there. In your cover letter, if you tell us that you're going to be there, we need the directors. It is your film. We want you to be there. We want you to represent it. It's the thing that makes the film festival special. Our audience loves directors. They're like constantly asking me, where are the directors? Can we talk to the directors? Research the festivals you want to submit to. Know what your film's about and if your film's vision aligns with the festival. I think festivals in general should put in the effort to make their festivals as inclusive as our society is. Watching films from just one perspective can get really, really boring and tedious. So <laughs> this was a really great film festival because they did a good job with that. So we got a chance to see a lot of different perspectives from all around the world, which was really nice. A lot of people get into the film festival world and they go, I gotta get into Sundance. They don't with their first two films, like I've never been into Sundance and they get crushed. They think they are of a lower value, and that's not really the case. There are definitely festivals that are not worth your time. If you have a community of people that you can talk to, most important are, are there people watching your film? Did they screen your film properly? Look at what they programmed in years previous. You might find that the kind of film that you got, it's not their wheelhouse. Movies getting into film festivals have as much to do with your film fits with another film. Never be afraid to ask for a waiver, a discount. If you believe in your film, try to get people to see it. If you do get into a festival and you're able to go, it's really smart to build a relationship with the programmers and the, the heads of festivals. Submit your film and get ready for an experience that you probably won't have anywhere else. This is a unique, personal, intimate film festival, but with all the perks of the bigger boys. Keep on making art, and if you're passionate about something, pursue it. As filmmakers, you have the potential to change the world. Don't take that for granted, and enjoy what you're doing. <laughs> we have a good time. We would love to meet you, so please consider us. <laughs>